I kept thinking there would be more red, which was the dominant color actually in both sets of tapestries. Um, but I'm definitely more of a pink lady. <laughs> so. My name is Emily Stark Menig, and we are in my studio at Fort Andros in Brunswick, Maine. Unicorns have been a part of my imagination since I was a child. I grew up loving fairy tales and believing in unicorns. My parents are both amazing artists and they, my mom ran a gallery for a little while so they would take me to museums and galleries and we, I was sort of steeped in art history and in contemporary art. The tapestries at the Met Cloisters are basically about the hunt for the unicorn. There was this idea that if you put a maiden, a virgin, in the woods, the unicorn, who was this, the fastest, wildest, strongest, uh, most magical being in the woods, would be attracted to her scent, so the scent of a virgin. And so the thing that struck me about this story was the maiden, this virgin, and I was like, who is she? That was the question that kind of drove a lot of these pieces, and what is her relationship to the unicorn? I, I kept thinking about this idea of what would it be like to fall into a tapestry? Um, so I'm thinking of these paintings almost like also like ruins. I, I love being surrounded by an image. So that confrontation of being smaller in a body than the whole expanse of the painting. And I work a lot on the floor and I walk all over the paintings. It's interesting to think about how I can come at them now from my point of view today, but then I feel like the longer I spend with them, the more I sort of maybe get to dip back in time to come up against all these other versions of the tapestries. Even as they were made, you know, in the 1500s, they're living right now, their spirits are alive, and so many different They've passed through so many different hands, literally, and eyes, and so much energy has accumulated around them that they're these kind of breathing stories. And to get to be in communication with those stories is also feels magical. It's like, how is that possible? I feel like the linear sense of time never worked for me, so that if I can find alternate sort of expanses, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs>